So you've spent tons of time to get your blog posts to look exactly the way you want them to. You get your first blog post ready and you realize that the block quote doesn't look very good by default. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use just a few simple CSS selectors to style your block quotes globally across your entire website. This gives you the freedom to create a unique design for your block quotes that show up across all your different posts and pages. It's really simple to do, even if you're new to CSS, so let's jump in here and get started. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and jump in the customizer here, and we're gonna go into our additional CSS tab. I have some other CSS from a previous project, which I'll just move down to the bottom so it's not in our way. Now, when we're writing CSS for these block quotes, there's three selectors you need to keep in mind. The first one is just the word block quote. You don't have to put a period or a hash sign in front of it, just the word block quote will do. This will control the container and work with some inheritance if we want to style quite a few things there on the block quote. The second one is just adding block quote and then a P, and this will take care of targeting all the text inside of our block quote, except for the person's name that goes at the end of the block quote. For that, we need block quote and then the word site, C-I-T-E. With these three different selectors, we can style everything we need to inside this block quote. So let's go ahead and do a few things to make this one look a little bit better. The first thing I'm gonna do is here on the block quote, we're gonna get rid of that border left. Now I'm gonna add a border back later. So for now, I'm gonna do border left zero pixels. And that will get rid of that light gray border that was on the left hand side. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna center align all this text. So we can say text align center. And this will center everything in here. Now, I wanna get rid of the italics on both the person's name and the block quote itself. So here on the block quote P, we'll just say font style and we'll change that to normal. You can see that got rid of the italics there. We can do the same thing here. We'll go ahead and copy this and paste it inside the citation here, which will get rid of it on the person's name. Now, there are some benefits of inheritance in CSS where we could have put some of this just in the block quote itself, but in this demo, I wanna go ahead and show you all these things separated because not everything will inherit the same way and that could get confusing down the line. So for now, we're gonna do all these on their three separate selectors. Now for the font itself of the block quote, I wanna make this quite a bit bigger. So I'm gonna say font size, we'll say two rim for now. And that makes it quite a bit bigger so it stands out. I think I also want to change the font weight to something like 600 to make it bolder. Now here for the person's name, I think I wanna go with something that's small and all caps. So we can do font size and maybe we do one rim to make it small. And then we do text transform uppercase to make it all uppercase letters. Anytime I do that, I also like to add some letter spacing in between the letters just to make sure that they're not too tight in there. Maybe 0.1M is enough. And you can see we've already made quite a bit of difference. If I cut this CSS out, you can see there's what we started with. And when I paste it back in, here's what we have now. Now it's not perfect and I think we can do a few more things, but I think we're already showing that this looks quite a bit better. I'm gonna go back here onto our block quote and we're gonna add a border across the top and a border across the bottom just to really bring attention to this. So for that, I'm gonna do border block. Now block is the property for the top and the bottom, whereas inline is the property for the left and the right. So we can kind of combine top and bottom by using block. We'll say three pixels, solid, and we'll just say light gray so it doesn't stand out too much. And you can see now we have this light gray border on the top and bottom. Now this is already looking quite a bit better and I feel like we could stop here, but I'm gonna do one more thing just to make these block quotes stand out a little bit more. Here on the block quote, I'm gonna do margin inline and remember inline is on the left and right and we're gonna do negative 100 pixels. And you can see this has brought this block quote out from the flow of all this text on both the left and the right. You know, 100 might be a little bit too much. Maybe we go with 75 just to keep it from getting too close to this table of contents here. But you can see by breaking out of that box, we really call some attention to this. Now down in the video description below, I've included a link that has five different designs I came up with in Figma for block quotes, as well as all the CSS that 
creates those exact designs. So you could take these and put them into your website, just copy and paste, and you'll have these designs right away. But you'll also be able to dig into the CSS I wrote for all these and make some tweaks and adjustments and start figuring out how this works on your own. It's such a small little thing to add to your websites, but when you customize things like the block quote, it really gives that extra layer of polish on your designs that make them look that much better. Now this video is a little bit different than I typically do. I would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Writing CSS is something I only started doing a couple years ago, but now that I feel really comfortable with it, I find myself jumping into the CSS editor and adding all kinds of CSS to tweak things like this. So if you'd like to see more videos on how I'm using this, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to create some more videos like this in the future. If you want to check out some previous videos I've done, there should be some cards popping up now, and make sure you're subscribed so we can catch you in the next video.